Cyberpunk 2077 has been pulled from the PlayStation Store. Microsoft confirms solar and breach affecting core products. Zoom's making it easier to meet with loved ones for the holidays. Windows 10 will now analyze your disk usage. What's up everybody, this is Dave LeClaire with Make Use of's Tech Bytes, and today we're gonna jump into the biggest news stories of the day, so let us get it on. What is definitely the biggest and most surprising story, Sony has actually pulled CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 game straight from the marketplace. That means you can no longer buy a digital copy of it on the PlayStation Store. You can still run out and buy a disc if you want, but if you want a digital copy, you are SOL. Players who already own the game can still play it, so if you've already purchased a digital copy, you can still run it and play the game, or you can request a refund because Sony will now refund players who purchase digital copies of Cyberpunk 2077. So if you're having issues with Cyberpunk, which a lot of people people on console are, you can get your money back. Solar Winds hack is absolutely terrifying in terms of what it can do. There's a lot to it, so I'm going to put a link down in the description that'll break everything down and help you understand exactly what is happening here. But it turns out now that Microsoft has been a victim of it. So along with a lot of giant firms that are extremely important and extremely vulnerable if they're under attack, Microsoft is now facing problems with the SolarWinds attack. Some of its core services are under attack. In addition to Microsoft, some other victims of solar wind attacks were the US Energy Department and probably most terrifying of all, the National Nuclear Security Administration, which manages the US nuclear arsenal. Fortunately, Microsoft said that their systems were not co-opted in the attack, so it shouldn't be anything that will affect you as an end user. But it is definitely something that you need to keep an eye on because these solar winds attacks are a big deal and they keep on spreading. The US Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the CISA, published new information regarding the attack, advising that other attack vectors may exist outside solar winds and the sunburst malware at the root of the threat. Which basically means this is only going to get worse as time goes on. In a happier story, Zoom is actually making meeting links unlimited for the holidays, which will allow people to get together with their friends and loved ones digitally and not take any risks of actually getting together. During the COVID crisis, obviously this is very important. Now as generous as Zoom is being with these unlimited meetings, it's not just blanket saying, okay, for the rest of the holiday season, you can use meetings as long as you want. Instead, it's having specific days where you can get together with friends and loved ones without a time limit. So first you have Thursday, December 17th, 10 a.m. Eastern, until 6 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, December 19th. Followed by that, you have 10 a.m. Eastern time, Wednesday, December 23rd, until 6 a.m. Eastern time on December 26th. And lastly, you have 10 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, December 30th, until 6 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday, January 2nd. So basically, Zoom has you covered for Hanukkah, Christmas, and New Year's. So if you wanna to get together with your friends and loved ones digitally, you'll be able to do that for as long as you want with unlimited meetings during those dates and times. So let's stick with the positive stories. Microsoft is actually making a really cool tool that will help you analyze your disk usage. So that means you won't have to install any third party stuff in order to find out what's using the space on your drive and how you can clean things up. So the latest insider preview builds actually featured a disk cleanup tool and Microsoft did not announce it or anything. It was just users happen to find it and be like, hey, what's this? There's a disk analysis tool here in our Windows build. So this is obviously coming to Windows 10 only. You're not gonna get this on older versions of Windows. So if you haven't updated yet, it is well, it's well past time to get Windows 10 because, you know, it's been out for like a thousand years now at this point. So it's a command line tool right now. So you actually run it from command prompt. There's not like a nice UI that will do the disk analysis for you. But at the end of the day, it does the same task that a, a prettier, more UI focused tool would do. And that is analyze your disk usage, which is what you want, right? And it definitely needs some work. For example, currently you have to search in bytes instead of megabytes or gigabytes, which makes it a lot more complicated because who thinks in terms of bytes, especially with the way files are now? A single video file can be a few gigs. So you're, how many bytes is that? Off the top of your head, quick, post in the comments. How many bytes is in a gig? You don't know? I don't know. Fortunately, there's online unit converters that will convert bytes to gigabytes and megabytes and terabytes. So that'll make things a little bit easier for you because otherwise you're gonna be just sitting there typing in a ton of numbers, trying to search for what you want. That is assuming you're a member of the Windows Insider program and you have build 20277 or 21277 installed because you need to have those in order to test out the disk analysis feature. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching this episode of Tech Bytes. This is Dave LeClaire, Make Yourself's Tech Bytes extraordinaire. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments below about what you think was the biggest story of the day. And we will see you guys in the next episode.